Hey everybody, welcome back to Six Fear Gaming. Had a good, had a video today about what do you do when life hits you hard and you don't have much and you're broke. That can mean more than one thing. But what I want to talk about is if it's in physical, physical stuff to me is the easiest to deal with. Being sick, wait it out. If you got too much body fat, you lose it. If you're not strong enough, you just get stronger. Like the, I've done, I'm naturally gifted in the physical arts when it comes to fitness and fighting and violence and stuff like that. So that's an easy aspect for me. But what about some of the other aspects of life? And I look at it like there's three aspects to to us moving through life. One is the physical, which is the body that is getting us through everything. The mind, which processes everything and kind of decides what we do, and then the spirit. And so, you know, the three of those have to be in relative balance to one another. Otherwise, you'd have things like people who spend their entire life becoming fitness influencers, or people who become spend their whole life and they do nothing but play video games, or they spend their whole life and they do nothing but make they do nothing but chase money. So there's a balancing system here when it comes to the uh, how we build everything up. And I think the elites of the world know it better than we do because they set it up in the form of dailies. Right? Weekly rewards, daily rewards, etc, etc. They set it up in video games. And I think that's one of the reasons that a lot of us strive so hard to play games and accomplish things in games is because it's universally kind of it's kind of understood and respected certain things I don't have my soldier armor on but I just recently got my soldier armor to 100 spec right so people see that and they're like hey respect 100 spec you put the work in it doesn't mean anything, but when everybody sees the spec and whenever you see someone's gear, you see the mastery. And you're like, okay, there's a baseline mastery around this item, around this gear, whatever. Kind of like a badge of armor, or a badge of honor in a way. Well, when you, in real life, you have only really two. <laughs> there's only really two kind of badges of honor that you can carry around at all times. One is your fitness, and one is your bank account wallet so if you're broke you don't have that but you can still be fit both of those can reflect can cause people to have some degree of respect for you in a powerful way the problem though is uh, me and my wife were talking about the concept of free will and I don't think she quite understands free will so I wanted to do a video on kind of like the balance of life and the free will system that we're under why it's so important and why it matters like it's crucially important for everything that we think about doing or want to do etc there's two reasons for this one is because any other system outside of a free will system is not fair it's not free every action that we take has a system of consequences and what ends up happening is you know my children don't understand the concept of foresight they're getting there, you know, like they're starting to understand and perceive the concepts of danger before they try to go do the stupid thing. Like, let's jump into the, let's jump off the back porch into the slippery mud puddle right beside a bunch of metal stuff. Well, no, they wouldn't do that because if you slip this way, blah, blah, blah. So, but the randomness and <laughs> thoughtlessness sometimes takes over and they do things that they probably, they learn the hard way sometimes, as we all do. But what other? But basically, like, what other system? And you know, this I I think that it helps if you believe in, or at least you just. I don't think the concept of God is really for everybody, and I definitely don't think the concept of Christ, you know, the Messiah, is for everybody. Some people are much more happy, much more happy with the idea of evolution or Darwinism and things like that, which is totally fine. Which is totally fine. It's all based on our experiences. For me, I just paid attention to one cri uh, critically important thing and. The critically important thing that I paid attention to is throughout history, how has, how have the society, okay, so like we can look at the world and we see the world leaders, okay, well we know they're not really like good people, right? They're not like us, they don't come from families like us, they don't have to work, they don't do, they don't shop where we shop, they don't, there's a big disconnect there. Well, 
if they look at a certain group a certain way, and throughout history, consistently the same thing has been the same thing has been true. That puts into my mind kind of a kind of a benchmark going forward. Okay. So like when it comes to Christianity, I see how Christians act, and then I see the Bible, and I see what Christ says, and I see there's a disconnect there. I say, okay, you guys are not doing what Christ the Messiah said to do. You are not acting as he acted. You are not living as he lived. You are not giving as he gave. You are not wise as he was. So it's very hard for me to go to church. And listen to men who have elected themselves as spiritual leaders over men try to tell me things that I have sought God for. As in, when I went through the Bible in my meditations and early days of reading it, I didn't ask for worldly help, I asked for God to help me understand. And the more you read, the more you the more you read, the more you understand this, one of the concepts of the Bible. It's also a interesting concept where <clears throat> Just like words can Im input thoughts into your brains, so too, if we read the scriptures over and over and over again. Maybe not the same exact one. Because I don't know exactly how this transference of knowledge works. But if the creator of the universe wrote a book for us to read, made sure that we'd have it, and you read it, I'm pretty sure he transfers some important information into your mind at all times. <laughs> A daily, so to speak, of profitable rewards that we then use when we burn up, and then the next day continues when we read again, etc., etc. But my wife's having the issue and a difficult time understanding the concept of free will, so I wanted to make a video about free will and why it's so cool. So the concept of free will is typically misunderstood, and there's a few things to understand, like counter terms to free will. So free will is I can do whatever I want. I can do whatever I want. I know that sounds stupid, but you can. Anything you want to do, you can do it. Are there consequences? Absolutely. Sometimes there's con sometimes there's more consequences for doing nothing than there are for doing something. But generally speaking, you do whatever you want to. I am free from... I have the concept, or I live by the... What? Oh, I'm a master of the I live under this kind of rule, which is where I'm going to do whatever I want to. And then I want my... Like, here's a good example. Like, why don't I watch, like... Why don't I cheat on my wife? Good example. I could if I wanted to. There's plenty of women. But what's the... Why don't I? Why don't I want to? I mean, that, that, that's the end of it. I'm not worried about making God upset. I'm not worried about making my wife upset. I don't want to. <clears throat> it has nothing to do with anybody else because the way that I live my life, how I live it is completely dependent upon what I want to do independently for myself. No one else's thoughts come into that free will. If I really wanted to do something and I felt like God would be mad about it, I would still do it. I just simply let some of my wants and desires shift, you know, into what God wants more so than what my lustful, parasitic, filled body wants. So within that, I can want the things that great men of the past have wanted, prophets have wanted. You know what I'm saying? It's helped me out tremendously in life with surpassing a lot of other people in their limited, boxy worldview that they put everything into. They have more money, they must be smarter, they must be more successful. No. You had a normal life. You had a family that had money that could help you out. You have blah, 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 blah. My system did not do that. My system has basically been, everything has been stolen from me multiple times to the point of utter poverty, and now I'm faced with the most exciting aspect, which is being broke, making money. And that sounds like a, silly, a very simple, silly, maybe oversimplification of what I'm talking about. But what I mean is, there's no reason for me to stress out about anything that happens in life. Because at the end of the day, no matter what happens, either I can handle it or God will handle it for me. 
and every single thing that happens is usually just a learning system. Oh, well, don't do that next time. Now, what about breaks? What about breaks from life and chaos and drama? Financial breaks, uh, spiritual breaks, mental mental breaks, what are those? Well, I'm, I'm kind of, in a funny way, asking what those are, because I don't know. <clears throat> I woke up this morning, maybe not with a fever, but feeling quite terrible. Very hot. <laughs> feeling like, like garbage. Hopped up out of bed. Went straight to work. <laughs> Worked all day, came home. Had to gather some change, went back to the store, get some flour so we can make some bread. In the hot, in the sun. Because I ride a bike everywhere, so. We good. God made me a really strong man, so there's a lot, I have, a, there's a lot of demand on me. And I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with the demand. <coughs> and one of the biggest things that I think my wife has been kind of freaking out with is like right now, she comes from what I would call one of the most, like, most chaotic, troubling, depressing type of childhoods you can have. Which took a long time for her to, like, finally reveal some of the stuff that happened to her. Which, some of it's not nearly as bad, but as she thought it was. Perspective is important. Things that weren't really that bad, or that could have been a lot worse, she blew up out of proportion. And then other things that happened, I'm like, that's the craziest shit I've ever heard. She's like, oh, it wasn't that bad. I'm like, what do you mean it wasn't that bad? That's awful. That's the worst thing I've ever heard. So, like, the perspective system gets changed a lot. And the reason I think that our basic free will system that we have is so critically important is because without free will, nothing we do have any has any value. <laughs> Jesus was not. Oh, they got some kind of Jesus. Jesus was Chinese. <laughs> Albion's chat always gets religious. Uh, super Jesus-y and very political very fast. <laughs> And this guy, his name is Necro Butcher Six Six Six. The internet has warped y'all's minds. Oh, the internet has done a good job of freeing minds, but also at the same time trapping minds into other people's belief systems. <coughs> oh, this is a forest. This is well. If I had just scrolled a little bit more, I would have seen I don't need to be here. So. I guess we just run him back. Well, that was silly. Enjoy the ride. But, like, what's the point of our free will system? And then, why is it kind of like. And, and we're the only ones that have free will, by the way. Nothing else, in, nothing else in creation has what I would consider to be total free will, like we do. <laughs> Did y'all see that? I sneezed so hard that I, the cursor shook. <laughs> but nothing else in really all of creation has free will the way that we have it. If you think about all the different animals, uh, the plants and animals that exist in nature, they don't have free will. They have, they have duty and responsibility. They're basically the caretakers of everything. The ants, the birds, the bees, I mean, just go down the list of everything and then find out its actual like, extreme level of importance that it has with maintaining the true balance of the world. They don't take any breaks. <laughs> like, they don't. We are the only ones. We are the, we're the spoiled rich children of God who could sit back and point fingers at each other for being lazy when we do nothing. We have the two-parent system. Which we can get to. The basically, when it's relatively good, we get the duality of most of life from the man. We get the strength, the leader, the direct, the the man who has the direct connection to God, and with the woman we have the indirect connection to God, the helpmate to the man that produces children. I mean, it's like, and then when, when with the free will is free will brought these two together. Love made manifest, produces children, produces a better, more rich, and abundant life. But it doesn't get easier. 
And one of the issues that nobody seems to prepare, or I was not prepared for, was because I have a big family. And it's just me, my wife, and my children. We have no friends. We've tried to have friends, but it keeps backfiring. Every time. Because I happen to be one of those men who actually lives by it. I do, like... What's the best way to explain it? I like to... I've always been kind of a man of my word. Do you know what I'm saying? That's the wrong one. I've been a man of my word since I was a young man. So when I say I'm going to do something, I do it. And I don't... When I The way that I live is simple. I don't try to act like I'm something I'm not. I don't try to... I try to lift everybody up around me. But in a lot of ways, like, I'm... I'm closer to my maximum potential than a lot of other people's are. So because I'm closer in my max potential than other people, it makes me come off as like, oh, he... It's so stupid. It's like, just because I'm fit doesn't mean that I don't like you because you're unfit. You know what I'm saying? Just because I can fight doesn't mean that if you're not a fighter, I, I look down on you. I call it the moral effect. It's where people are offended by you not living the same lie that they are. So your daily, your daily actions are a reflection of the lie they tell themselves. And subsequently, that means that then they can no longer, you know, sleep. To keep it exactly in the lore of Flight Club. And the free will system is cool because the free will system is a loophole system that Satan can use against this in really powerful ways. So what I mean by this is the loophole system for this is if he can control your mind through past traumas and imagery and the body and the lust of the flesh, things like that, then he can control you. He can, in a way, control your free will. I'll give you really the most simplest the simplest way to explain this and break it down would be to look at someone who is addicted to methamphetamines. <laughs> and somebody addicted to methamphetamines, uh, they have a series of systems they have to go through. One is they they do they kinda need food, they kinda need water, but what do they really need? They need meth. So if you don't give them meth, if you don't give them money to buy meth, what are they gonna do? That depends on the, on the. It depends on who they are. Are they are they function high functioning enough to be able to actually hold a job? Son of a bitch. Are they are they functioning enough to actually be able to hold a job long enough to work and get a paycheck and enjoy their enjoy their drug of choice at home in their couch and still run some kind some semblance of a of a good life? Maybe. And if they can do that, you'll never probably know that that person's on meth. You might just think they're strung out on life or super high energy but generally speaking nah that ain't the case they trip it <laughs> generally they just straight tripping and uh which is fine you know trip your balls off it's your life live how you want but the big issue is when we when the free will system gets tampered with by satan or social media or or your parents or your friends or your wife or your children or whatever. <coughs> and here's the example of that. What I, or, or here's an example of that. If you think that I can't do anything all day because of X, Y, or Z, it shows, it showcases really two things. One, the lack of creativity that you have. And two, not putting the proper burden upon yourself to get it done. An example. If I need to work every day, that the children keep me up all night. Oh well. I have I don't get enough sleep and I still gotta go to work. It's going to affect me. But at some point in the day there's obviously a window of opportunity where I can take a nap. Why didn't I take a nap then? Oh, I was scrolling on my phone instead of sleeping. I got my sleep schedule messed up. Now I'm staying up too late. My whole system for how I see things how I want things to be done is now messed up. Now I'm going to blame the children. If you break it down step by step very ana very analytically, you'll be able to track out any issues that you have that get in the way of you doing the stuff that you want to do. And it's always funny too because free will, the easiest way to sum up free will system in a way that most people understand it is just look at your fitness. 
<laughs> just look at fitness in general. Ain't nobody getting in the way of your fitness. No one ever has. No one ever will. There's nothing getting in the way of you doing push-ups and sit-ups every day. There's nothing ever getting in the way of that. But very few people. In, hang on. Let me. I'm gonna, while I'm in the black zone, let me go to Google real fast. Let's look up the percentage of Americans that are overweight. Sorry, I don't have the best typing skills. <laughs> so it's 30%. One in three. Nearly 70%. 70% of adults in the U.S. are overweight, court. Yeah, so that's better. 70% is the number that I know it to be. Yeah, so they factor in the obesity between all ages. No, we need adults, bro. 41 adults have obesity. So I'd say 70% are overweight. What I mean by overweight is not having a six-pack healthy fat levels in the, young, in, the, in the youth and prime of your life, right? Like I got fat on my stomach, but I can pull my shirt up and flex, and you can see my you can see my abs. And that was I did that with almost no effort. But what's the difference between me and like somebody like my wife? Well, the, the difference is I already know how to lose weight in the full spectrum. So for me, wait, what? I just gotta. Doesn't make any sense. It made my head hurt. <clears throat> I know how to lose weight really easy. To me, it's not a big deal. It's a combination of what you eat and putting a lot of work in, which I do really well. That ain't the same for a lot of people. And people that I train, they don't understand anything. They're like, oh, I can't eat donuts all day. I'm like, no, you can't fucking eat donuts all day. <laughs> how many push-ups do you do today? They're like, oh, I got to do that every day. That's like, I mean, unless you're pushing to the point of tearing muscles and you can't walk. Uh, yeah, you need to be training gently every day. <laughs> Pasta's not good. I mean, pasta's okay if you're thin. Carbohydrates are good for the muscle, but... In kind of a <laughs> gentle moderation, bro. <laughs> so there's, there's, like, there's a system there. And the way the system, how I use, lose weight is completely non-determined upon how much I eat. Because uh, there's a there's a cool system that I use uh, to lose weight, which is where I can my so <laughs> sounds silly, but I can only eat so much, no matter how much I try. Now, what I mean by that is my stomach only has a certain size, so I can lift enough, work out enough, run enough, punch and kick enough, and and do everything hard enough with enough intensity that no matter what I eat because of the limitations of the size of my stomach, I won't gain any weight in terms of fat. I'll burn it all off. I'll put every single muscle group to work and have nothing but success and growth and fun and eat like a pig every day. But that's because I also understand how to work out. So if you look at people and they're like, okay, well, I'm, I'm a free will system into unfit people. 70% of America is fat. Great. How do you lose weight? Don't eat as many carbs. Don't eat sugar. Cut out fast food. Well, I know that, but I'm still going to do it. So now we have the system of free will come full circle. Now, the reason that it's the reason I say it like that is because the system of free will has come full circle. This person says, I don't want to be fat. Goes to McDonald's, goes to McDonald's, goes to McDonald's, goes to McDonald's, goes to McDonald's. I don't want to be fat. Go, and it's a, it's a perpetual loop. They go, it's a free will loop. Because under the free will system, you can also tell yourself bullshit lies. And they're totally fine. Self-delusion lies that reflect your inability to accomplish something by pushing the blame off to somebody else. It's totally right there. You see it all day long. And it's only through like meditation and like really focusing on ourself that we can figure out, oh, wait. Oh no, I suck with this. I got to learn. I got to have to have. I have to reset how I think. And to the only way to reset how you think is to put one hundred percent effort into it, and not not give yourself the opportunity to, to like cheat on that meal or or whatever it may be, whatever the thing is. Like I'm in 
I'm ga gathering in the black zone. Sick as balls. I'm so sick right now. Like, my head's hurting. I'm hot. I just want to go to bed. But I'm gathering. Because every day I want that to go up at least 1%. That's it. It's a tiny baby set, but eventually in, you know, a week or two, that's that's tier 7. Once I get to tier 7, I start to melt these nodes. Once I start to melt these nodes, I start to make more money. It's simple, man. It's simple. Now do that with your body. Do that with your mind. Do that with your spirit. Every day. Just go up 1%. You can choose not to, or you can choose to. But every day, is, what I'm saying is, every day that you choose not to go up that 1% by putting in that 1% worth of effort, you're gonna, you'll are gonna you look back on your life and be like, dying. These are accomplishments, bro. This is effort. It's a brand new character. I mean, it, it feels brand new. It's not really completely brand new, but... You know, I'm in the process of getting, <clears throat> maybe not these, but to the point now where I'm actually focusing on the spec now. The spec levels. Doesn't mean anything. But with this same kind of grind ethic, what does this mean next year? If I play Albion for another year, what happens then? In a year, what, what does that mean? That means this is looking more like tier 8 gathering. That means this look more. This looks more like tier eight crafting, instead of tier six. Which I'm almost shit. Wait, am I tier? <gasps> oh, this is a pleasure. Never mind. <clears throat> Never mind. Dude, I'm already at tier seven. I didn't even realize. What? When did I get that? I, I don't even remember getting that. But great. <coughs> and that's the kind of success we want going forward. Is a, I mean, a good example of. Is that <laughs> I didn't realize that I had that to, t to tier seven crafting, so I can go make my own. I can go make some tier seven stuff later. Take all my stuff down to Thetford, refine it, buy some tier seven ore off the auction house. Boom, no big deal. And this this okay. This is like the system of like falling forward, falling forward. It takes that. All you gotta do is move that up every day, and it builds. But if you don't move it up every day, then it's not enough. It's not enough effort. But if I sit here and grind my life away and get, try to get this up in one in one day, it ain't worth it either. And the free will system would be like, uh, I can do this or I can't. But if I pay attention to the prices right here, this ain't a lot of money. Not very lucrative in terms of Albion money. Most in the tier 5, so. What does that mean? Especially when everybody else tells you that it's not. It's. it's you make. Or, you know, YouTubers specifically tell you make more money in blue zones than in black zones. But other people say you make more money in black zones or whatever. Whatever. Like, there's always so much r random information. And this is where you're. <laughs> you can take some of their advice to try it but you got to compare it you got to compare the notes and it can't nothing gets in the way for you doing it nothing can get in the way of you actually doing the thing that you want to do and all you got to do is to have singular tasks you do every day get you to where you want to go for me it's really simple it's a combination of three things it's a combination or yeah it's a combination of three things that I do kind of independent from one another based on three separate aspects of my of my life or my being if you want to call it that my mental my physical and my spiritual i like to work out each of them a little bit every day video games helps a lot with my mental a lot video games helps a lot with my mental because like this is some of the most relaxing it makes sense. It's putting me in front of something that I can understand and I can watch grow in a cool way that makes me feel good as a person. Progress that you can't, I mean, I guess it could be taken away from me, but it, progress that is the kind that I respect and the, the kind of the stuff that I like to do. <sighs> See? 
lesson learned right there. I'm gonna sit up here using that damn pick for another 20 minutes. <laughs> Gather tier four. Oh God. <coughs> But when it comes to your free will system and how it works in your life, you gotta you have to ask yourself some really, 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 really simple questions, man. Like, what's the point of what you do? What do you want to do? <laughs> like, what do you want out of life? How do you want how, how do you want life to work? What do you want? I mean, it ain't nobody else's journey. And this is not what I do all the time. But this is what I feel like doing right now, because this is the what this is what I can do to increase my future everything in the game and also start to make money in a way that produces money not just steals it and I don't, I don't mean i don't care about these players like uh recently learned how to escape from gankers and stuff i ain't even stressing i'm also not even scared what 200k i ain't, I ain't worried about 200,000. that's a night of arena potions you know what i'm saying like that this game, I don't have fear with this game anymore. That people in it, some, some, some sissies are gonna want to kill me. It's totally fine. I understand. Like they gotta take all my hard work and they gonna take it. Great. I mean, good for you, man. I'm sure life has. A, I'm sure life is totally gonna reward you in the biggest way possible for that. <laughs> but I guess the question that we really have to ask ourselves a lot of the time is: Are we doing what we really want to with our life? And how do we take the free will system, which is first, I think the main, th I think the main system is the free will. What get? Sorry, I'm kind of rambling. What gets in the way of the free will? What gets in the way of the free will is the mind, because our mind can be easily tricked with a lack of foresight and putting trust into wrong things. That's the reason a lot of times on my videos I don't like to edit anything. When I do arenas, I don't want to, like that last video that I did about. Um, like my battle axe build. <coughs> I had discussions in game with people that told me my build was trash and would never work. And I was like, oh, okay. So I just like walked away from the conversation, went to my island and decided to post the video of top damage in the arena. And I sat there for like seven minutes waiting on arena, talking about the build and everything, and then go into a match and then play the one match. I didn't do this all day. I did this one time. Because I, I kind of want to be the authentic YouTuber, the one who posts, creates content based on life experiences and what I actually do have to offer people in a cool way, which uh, fitness is coming pretty soon. Fitness is coming soon. I just a few things I had to iron out first at home. My youngest son is almost old enough to actually make it uh, effortless, remove some of the friction from that stuff. I've actually had pretty good fitness gains just in doing nothing really just the a few weeks ago I worked out really hard for about two weeks and my body is still growing from that and it's just I gotta go back to all the basics and do all the basic stuff that I know to do get all the right mineral all the right minerals the right hydration just all that simple stuff that we just forget and it's not as hard as anybody thinks like nothing's hard in this life what's hard is to do it but once you start it's not hard Dishes are not hard, it's just hard to get started on them to do them. But why are they hard to do? It's because there's an enemy that we have that's keep trying to keep us living in a certain way that it keeps us off of the path of our full potential. By keeping us off that path of our quite literal full potential, he keeps us less than who we're supposed to be. Less than what we're supposed to be and what we can be daily. And those days add up very, very quickly. One day... One day, if not lifting, can turn into a year. See what I'm saying? One day of reckless spending can turn into a year of trying to recover from that said financial decision. Every day is important, and every day and every action matters. Every price point, every purchase of every single thing, everything we eat and drink and do and see, it all matters. It all affects us in one way or another. That's the reason I don't I don't actually watch any more Albion content is because I don't care what the other content creators are talking about or doing because the way that I play and the way that they play is vastly different. In terms of how we play, like 
going out into the world and stuff like that. And I have another <laughs> really good, I'm doing another petty gaming video uh, tonight on Dark and Darker. I even have a new name for that game. <laughs> I'll save it for that video. I guess the only question that I have, or the only thing I want to ask for everybody is, um, when it comes to your like true potential as a person, alive with life and experiencing everything this world has to offer, how much are you? How much are we doing to keep ourselves? How much are we doing to make sure that the life that we envision for ourselves is actually what we get? That's really it. Like, how much are we actually doing to make sure that life is is the life that we're living is what we really want? And if you can answer that question and be like, man, I'm doing everything I can, then you don't have to worry. You just have to sit back and wait. Keep grinding. Which is why I, I got a music mix coming soon about the grind of life. Because I'm one of those guys, like, I think it all starts in the kitchen. Like, your life grind, I think it starts in the kitchen, man. I think it starts with your food. It starts with cleaning. It starts with... It starts with everything. If you want to fuel fitness and you want to be able to put in ten times the amount of work that other people put in, you're going to have to be able to maintain it. you got to have a, a body that's healthy and strong and deal with everything that you're about to make it do. you got to be able to fuel the growth of the muscles and repair quickly so you don't lose, you know, you don't lose your butt. Oh, God. Actually, this is perfect. <laughs> Yay! And that's this is the <coughs> this is the, that to me is the funniest aspect of Albion Online. To where like it's hard for me to this game and the way that it works is about destro destroying each other. I just spent like thirty minutes gathering. Only for them to take everything. And it doesn't even bother me. Like, it's totally fine. That's a part of this game. Because <laughs> I don't ever seem to have an indication or warning that they're coming. But those guys are... Uh, 100... Oh, they got my axe. You piece of shit. Uh, those guys... Are probably running some kind of a software that lets them see... Uh, where I'm at through the map. So what that does is that lets them see where I'm at, how much I got, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. and then they can just, oh, we want his shit, and then go take it. And to everybody who, I know all about those apps and how they work. I've seen them. But that's it. <laughs> I tried to, I tried to gather for y'all. No longer, we go back. We go right, we go right back to the blue zones. I could go right back out there and start gathering again, but see, the free will says it's not worth it. How many times do you lose your shit before you realize it's not worth it? I can go anywhere and get fucking metal. I don't have to go outside here. Go way out. Go what? I can go over here. Just run all the way down here and go find any of these, any other zone and gather there. Thank y'all for so much for watching, though. I guess the challenge for this video is to start... If you want to do more stuff with your life, start doing more stuff with your life, maybe. Stop letting every, uh, social media and all these other excuses that you tell yourself get in the way, because at the end of the day, you're the only person that can stop it. You're the only person that gets in the way of what you want to do, so don't get in the way of what you want to do. <coughs> I think it's a lot simpler process than what most people think. Use that free will to your to your advantage, man. Let your mind reflect what you want to do. Don't stress so much about the tiny things. I don't even care. I got 2%. 2% towards my total goal. So my total lifetime goal is now... It's fine. <laughs> Like I didn't, I, ain't, I didn't lose nothing. I lost a little bit of silver, but that's not as much as the weapons I've bought and thrown away. And now I'm just right back to it.
waiting on an arena, getting ready for the next series of things that I do tonight. And, uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope everybody gets the, f <clears throat> I feel like uh, this whole, like, everything right now in life is all about the grind. People are getting worn down, having to push harder, having to tax money's all gone in that middle stretch where there's not a lot going on but it's like <laughs> life is hard you know yeah learn how to learn how to pick yourself back up learn how to push hard really learn how to figure out what you want to do I guess I'll leave you guys with this one I had a I was talking to a, a gentleman who used to be a Christian but then he became a I don't know if Satanist is the proper term but not a Christian anymore. And he said that um, one of the issues, it goes, how do we ever know the will of God? And I was like, what do you mean? Like, What are you talking about the will of God? He goes, yeah, how do we ever know that we're doing the will of God? And I was like, okay, well, <clears throat> that's actually like stupidly easy. He's like, what do you mean easy? Like, that's what so many existential arguments are brought up over. I was like, yeah, it's because you're not thinking about it the right way. And he's like, what do you mean? I said, okay. So, if I gave you a million dollars to kill a child, would you? And he's like, no. I was like, okay. What about, like, stealing? Like, if I paid you to go steal this car, would you steal it? He's like, no, I don't want to. Oh, okay. I was like, so where... <laughs> I was like, so what evil stuff do you do behind the scenes that you don't tell anybody else? He goes, man, I don't... He goes, I don't do anything evil. I said, okay. So, like, what do you want to do? And he goes... And we just talked for a minute, and the back and forth was basically, I was basically explaining to him, it's like, dude, you are doing the will of God. When you go to work every day, and you suffer, and you grind, and you sp spread love and happiness and joy to other people, like, we are working. We are carrying out the will of God. Just by living, just by being happy, just by walking with Him. That's how we, that's, we are. We are serving God. We are doing his will. And his eyes got so big and it, like it, it broke it, it broke his satanist propaganda that he's learned recently. It brought it, it it messed up everything he thought he knew about everything that <laughs> everything up until that point. It just destroyed it. all of his arguments. He didn't know what to think. He didn't know what to do. I was like, yeah, dude, it's really simple. I'm not saying I'm not, and that's not to say like we are gods necessarily, but the creator of the universe made us in his image to walk with him forever. And there's two sides to follow. There's Satan over here and there's God over here. God wants you to do the stuff that you want to do that's within the rules based in Christianity. Satan wants you to do everything that you want to do and then some as long as they cr cross off this. So once you understand the two pathways and where they go, then we can just say, I don't, now because my mind has been made up, I don't want to do these things. Because I understand this path leads to hell, this path leads to heaven. And it's, it's all super simple. This path leads to fat, this path leads to fit, this path leads to broke, this path leads to shit tons of money. It's simple, bro. It's all simple. It's just one, it's just a little, it's just a little, it's just some step. Some step unseen, not taken. It's not complicated. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you all enjoy watching me lose about 300. No, gosh. Probably closer to 500,000 with my gear and everything. And my mount. I had a tier. Oh, 700,000 because I had a nice ox. <laughs> yeah, so that's a video on how to lose 700,000 fast. But thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. <clears throat> Hope this video helps somebody. And, uh,. Coming soon, my refined battle axe build. It's not quite there yet. I have some changes to make, but I think I'm getting close. And this is also for 1v1. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace.